Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the transformer on load. Subscribe this channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic transformer on load. A transformer is said to be loaded when the secondary circuit is connected to the load. When the secondary, we know that from the transformer we have primary winding and secondary winding. If the secondary winding is connected with the load, then the transformer is said to be loaded, the transformer on load. The magnitude and phase of secondary current I2 with respect to the secondary voltage will be depends upon the load. Whether it is in phase or it is out of phase, that is depends upon the load. That is the relation between the secondary current and secondary voltage. For example, I2 is in phase with V2 that is secondary current and secondary voltage both are in phase if the load is purely resistive we know that the resistive load current and voltage are in phase if the if the load is inductive the current I2 lag behind the V2 secondary current is lagging the secondary voltage suppose if the load is capacitive the current I2 leads the V2 secondary current is leading the voltage so depends upon the load it may be in phase for resistive load lagging for inductive load current is leading in capacitive load now we'll see the what is the transformer on load refer the diagram so here we have the iron core is available the square type iron core is available so this is nothing but primary winding this is secondary winding the primary winding winded on one side of the core, secondary winding winded on another side of the core. Here the V1 is the applied voltage, voltage applied to the primary. V2 is the voltage available at the secondary, but here it is not loaded. The secondary is open circuit. Secondary is not connected with any load. Initially it is not connected with any load. Only the primary side the voltage is given. When the voltage is given, the one small amount of current I naught will flowing through the primary winding. This is due to the this is due to uh, producing the flux in the primary winding. The no load current is nothing but I naught. No load current flowing through the primary winding is called current is current called I naught. This is due to the producing the flux in the primary winding. Without any load, only small amount of current flowing for magnetizing the primary winding that is called I naught. So due to this magnetize the flux is produced in the primary winding. The flux is following the iron core. This iron core is square square type. So the flux also flowing in a square manner. That flux link with the secondary winding. But the secondary winding is open circuit so no current is flowing through the secondary winding. So this is coming under no load condition the secondary is not loaded only little bit of current I naught flowing in order to produce the magnetic field in the primary winding. Suppose if the load is connected now we will see this under no load condition a voltage V1 is applied in primary winding so the current I naught flowing which set up the flux pi in the circuit. This pi is nothing but a main flux the main flux produced in the circuit the no load condition. Now we will see what will happen if it is loaded. If the secondary is loaded, what will happen? See this now the primary is connected with the voltage V1. Now secondary is connected with the load. The secondary is now closed circuit. The secondary is now connected with the load. So what will happen? The secondary current I0 will flowing through the secondary winding. The previous case the secondary is open. So no current is flowing in the secondary winding only little bit of small amount of current I naught flowing in the primary winding. Now secondary is loaded so current I2 is flowing in the secondary winding. This I2 will produce the flux pi2 because this I2 is rate of change of current. The current flowing through the secondary is rate of change of current due to that pi2 is flowing pi2 is produced in the secondary winding. See the direction the pi2 is opposing the main flux. You see this direction the main flux is coming in this direction this pi 2 produced by i2 is is opposing the main flux so that is given when the secondary is loaded a current i2 is flowing in the secondary i2 set up the flux pi 2 which oppose the main flux 
right so this pi 2 is nothing but the flux produced by i2 that will oppose the main flux so due to that the main flux decreases then e1 also decreases so due to opposing of this pi 2 the pi value main flux is decreasing so that em of induced in the primary winding is e1 that also decreases suppose if e1 is e, e1 is decreases what will happen now v1 is greater than e1 the applied voltage is greater than the em of induced so that will cause more current to flow in the primary winding so due to the v1 greater than e1 more amount of current is flowing through the primary winding that is called i2 dash already i0 is available i0 is the current due to no loaded condition in order to produce the flux in the primary winding now secondary is loaded due to loading i2 current is flowing in the secondary that i2 current produce the pi 2 dash flux in the opposing that opposing the main flux due to that main flux reduces e1 reduces so v1 is greater due to that if the more amount of current is flowing called a i2 dash so i2 dash is the current due to the loading of secondary winding already i0 is available so this i2 dash is anti phase with i2 see the direction this i2 dash is flowing in this direction which is uh, i2 is both i2 and i2 dose i2 dash are uh, oppose each other this i2 dash will produce its own flux pi 2 dash see this direction of pi 2 and pi 2 dash both are opposite direction so it will cancel each other so what will happen the main flux phi remain in the constant so that is our important thing the main flux remain in the constant the flux pi 2 dash produced by i2 cancel this pi 2 both are almost equal and opposite so cancel each other so that make pi is remain in the constant so i2 dash in anti phase with i2 i2 dash set up the flux pi 2 which is equal and magnitude equal in magnitude pi 2 but opposite to i2 opposite to pi 2 so they cancel each other so the resultant flux is constant so that is the important thing i will explain again so initially the secondary is not loaded only small amount of current i naught is flowing that is used to produce the flux in the used to, to magnetize the primary circuit when the secondary is loaded i2 is flowing through the secondary this i2 will produce the pi 2 that pi 2 will oppose the main flux so due to that induced em of reduces but v1 is greater now so that it will produce one more current i2 dash that i2 dash will produce the flux pi 2 dash this pi 2 dash and pi 2 are both are equal and opposite magnitude so cancel each other finally this pi is maintained constant so that we are getting the constant flux in the transformer now we'll see the magnet the see the equations the total primary current is nothing but vector sum of i naught and i2 dash i naught is due to no load no loaded condition i2 dash during loaded condition the magnitude of pi 2 equal to magnitude of pi 2 dash both are equal and opposite the current i2 sets up set the mm of is n2 i2 the current i2 dash set up the mm of is n1 i2 dash because see that this i2 is flowing through the secondary winding n2 and i2 this i2 dash is flowing in the primary winding so that n1 into i2 dash right so both are equal so that n2 i2 equal to n1 i2 dash so from that i2 dash equal to n2 by n1 into i2 so this n2 by n1 is nothing but a transformation ratio k so that n2 by n1 equal to k so that i2 equal to k times of i2 i2 dash equal to k times of i2 right so based on this the current i2 set up the mm of in the secondary so that n2 i2 so i2 dash is the current flowing in the primary so that it is n1 i2 dash both are equal so while equating by simplification we got i2 dash equal to k times of i2 right we'll see the total current what are the current flowing so the component of primary current so that's called i1 
no loaded condition we have i naught loaded condition we have i2 dash so this i1 is the vector sum of i naught and i2 dash what is this i naught during the no load condition like this for the magnetize also it is having two components one is for magnetizing component i mu magnetize and another one iw working component is called a ion loss some amount some part will be some amount will be lost that is called a working or active component or otherwise called a ion loss component right so the total current i1 in the primary is sum of i0 and i2 dash i0 having two two components one is used for magnetizing another one ion loss that is called a working or active component so in this video we discuss about when the transformer is loaded what will happen to the current and flexors subscribe the channel for more videos the soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening